Hello again, folks, and welcome to something just a little bit different than what I'm usually doing. You see, uh, well, I'm a nerd, and I like dice. What do I like dice? There's also some dice in this container, but uh, I'd rather not spill it all out because there's so many dice in there. See, I like dice. Usually I like to have a dice that are just based around a character that I had in mind, like, or one that I'm playing, or certain situations, like these black and white ones I usually use as a DM. There's a uh, set over here that is a nice mix of black and red that I like to use, well, I liked to use for a Curse of Strahd campaign that I was running, and then I just like the color orange so that's where most of these are and what most of these are i actually have a little bit more dice not too much more like i have this set right here that uh i got as another random sort of a set that just really looked nice i i only really have this container because i needed like what was it like five more bucks five more bucks off amazon to get free shipping so i was like yeah screw it i'll get something i want as opposed to Pain for shipping. But Darius, you might think, why even bother with so much dice? Well, as I said before, either usually I just like the personality of some of the random dice I end up finding, or ones that are just based around the characters that I want to play as. I even have some super special dice, artisan dice even, that have the looks of like little mossy things inside there. Focus. Yeah. Like this set was for a goat folk druid that I was playing for a time. I never actually rolled these dice for them because it was purely digital, but you know, I still like the idea of getting dice for a character. Hell, I even have these dice which just have little gold flakes floating in them for what would have been a long set pirate campaign based in Pathfinder, uh, Skulls and Shackles. But I think I might have, uh, might have derailed that campaign just a smidgen because I tossed the bosun overboard. And, um, yeah, he was kind of big for the plot. But that said, why bother with any of this at the moment? What is this video even supposed to be? Well, I figured I'd try something a little bit different. You see, I also really like getting mystery sets of dice. And in this particular case, um, Etsy has some shops, this one in particular from the Grandmasters Guild, that do random dice. Usually they're of fine, really nice quality. And I really like to get these kinds of dice, because you never know what you might get inspired to make. Uh, in this particular case, Etsy had a weird, has a weird situation by the time I'm still recording this, where for some whatever reason, I can't view what's in my cart. I still have two items in my cart that I've just never got to, and for some reason, they're not able to fix it. So the only way I'm able to purchase anything is by going directly to the item Selecting how much I want to buy and just go, buy now. Which, okay, fine. That doesn't fix my cart problem, but regardless of that, uh, tried to go to Etsy themselves and be all like, hey, I have this problem. And they're like, well, we can't fix it. Here's 10 bucks in credit. So pretty much I went to these guys, the Game Masters Guild, and was like, you know what? I could use some more dice. Can I, yeah, okay, I could use some more dice. I do too. This is not all the dice I used to have. When I used to live with my old guy friends, uh, we actually had this fishbowl of kind of communal dice. Not all the time was it communal dice though. Sometimes it was just the guys having decided, you know what, I don't know where this dice set is. I don't know whose this is. Into the fishbowl it goes and then no one could then find that set again and then we'd buy more dice. So I figure, why not? Let's go ahead and give these Game Master Guild guys a shot and uh, see what the hell else that they did. I actually did get a set of dice from these guys before. That's one of the, eh, that is, actually I think it's both these sets of dice that I got from them before. I really, really like this one, really do. I like the outside color of these ones. They kind of, I'm starting to rethink this device. God damn it. Come on. I will never understand separate little dice holes for these kind of dice, like at all. It takes forever unless you just want to go. Ain't doing, because then it just defeats the purpose of these things. It did come with this little coin, though. Not that it was much of a big deal, anyways. But anyways, I really like this set's color. 
It's like a mixture of different oranges. I just don't really like the funk color that they had chosen. Maybe I'll decide to you know, fill those in at a later point of time. But anyways, that's not about these. It's about these, the newer ones that I'm opening right now. There we go. Pardon me, my fingers are fat. Here. Okay. Okay, kind of like that. A nice... Next, nice mixture of black, of uh, darker green and regular green, some gold lettering in there. Pretty sweet color setup right there. Kind of makes me think of a green dragon, or, or if you're p playing uh, Pathfinder Second Edition Remaster Primal Dragons, which actually this might end up being the dice set that I kind of figuratively use. I'm part of a King Master campaign, and my character is a dragon-blooded human barbarian that has the dragon instinct and this is very much going to be like a green primal dragon and I think in spirit and this would be that set so so far pretty much all of these goddamn dice that I have within this little tray have been bangers uh, this one I just really don't like the color of it these ones are freaking fantastic looking this one actually has a little bit of inspiration for that barbarian that I like but what about this set? Yeah. And what do we got? I love these kind of... Okay. What do we have here? Let me, let me look at these with my own eyes as opposed to, to uh, through the camera for a second. Okay, this dice set's actually pretty nice looking. Got like a blue with sparkles. Got a little bit of... I'm not sure what color I could describe it as. Caramel that's in there too? I know, it's hard to really show right now because I only have the one light source up there. And that's blocked by my mic slash camera arm. You'll have to apo I'll have to apologize for that. I don't like this set. I don't know. Like some of these dice, it is very different coloring that you can actually notice. Like here, you see the little bit of caramel sort of brown that I'm talking about. That is very much different from the blue sparkly colors. And it's quite a bit more noticeable when those things are kind of encompassing the entire side of a die. There's all that caramel. There's all that sparkle. Then you get to sets like this one where, yeah, some of the faces have that going on. It, <laughs> hmm, how would I describe this one? Kind of reminds me of looking up at the sky and just seeing like a dense galaxy of stars right through it. This one is very, I think one of the, this is a uh, very layered, like they pour in one color and then they pour in the other color and they, or in the other color, they don't do any mixing within the dyes. It's just, it's just there. It's that. Well, that's pretty much that. I, I, I don't know what the hell else to do with this video. Was I really planning to do this video? No, not in the slightest. I just had these come in from Etsy today. Decided, you know what? I kind of want to do something with these, but I don't have any equipment. In fact, this setup right here that I have going on, that's just my phone, which is really shitty when it comes to its camera uh, using craft wire to hook it up to my microphone and the arm so that i can you know record like this and the backdrop that's just a homemade dm screen that i had from like forever ago well i really hope that y'all like this kind of a video i don't know what the hell i'm gonna do with it uh i don't even know if i'm gonna do another one of these and now i have to pick up all my dice again yay thank you everyone so very much for watching i really hope that you all enjoyed this little random video out of nowhere and I hope to see you all in the next adventure. Take care. Cheers.